Hey, it's Dr. St. John with Chagrin Natural Health Clinic, and I had a patient ask me today about cholesterol. And a lot of people think that what raises your cholesterol? Eggs, egg yolks, red meat, butter, fat, right? Well, I'm going to prove that wrong right now, okay? And it's basic physiology. So when you eat a typical American breakfast, and, you know, the known typical American breakfast would be bacon and eggs, right? But what do most people eat for breakfast? Toast, cereal, a donut, a bagel, uh, coffee with some sweetener in it, juice, right? What is all that? Well, it's high starch carbohydrates or sugar. So what happens when you eat that sugar, it gets broken down and here's an artery and you have all this sugar floating around in your blood from that typical American breakfast. And what happens is there is a bridge that takes sugar out of the bloodstream into the cell. Here's the cell. And that bridge is a hormone made by your pancreas and it's called insulin. So think of insulin as a key that unlocks the cell to allow sugar to get in. Now, the cell needs a little, about, a little amount of sugar, some sugar for energy, but what's gonna happen to all the rest of this once all the cells are full of the sugar that they need? Well, it's going to get stored as fat, okay? So you eat sugar, it causes fat storage because insulin gets released, insulin puts sh some sugar into the cell, but the rest, the excess, gets stored as fat. Another function that uh, insulin provides for the body is it makes cholesterol. It stimulates your body to make cholesterol. Did you know that 80% of the cholesterol in your body was made by your body? It didn't come from eating foods that contain cholesterol. It didn't come from eating egg yolks, red meat, and butter. So egg yolks, red meat, and butter do not clog your arteries. Sugar, cookies, cakes, candy, pizza, fries, excessive amounts of pasta, all that stuff is what clogs Americans' arteries, okay? And it causes inflammation as well. So if you wanna lower your cholesterol, what you do is you limit the amount of foods that stimulate insulin. What are the foods that stimulate insulin? sugar and high starch carbs. So in the next video, I'm gonna tell you how many carbohydrates you should be eating per day to keep this whole process from becoming a problem. Take care.